I'm Cyril Vanier in Doha with your top stories on Al Jazeera. Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko says the leader of Russia's Wagner mercenary group has returned to Russia, suggesting he might be in St. Petersburg. He also says the offer to have Wagner fighters stationed in his country still stands. Evgeny Prigozhin had gone into exile in Belarus after his brief mutiny in a deal agreed with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Uh, as for Yevgeny Viktorovich Prigozhin, he is in St. Petersburg. Where is he this morning? He might travel to Moscow, or he might be elsewhere, but he's not on Belarus territory. I don't think that Wagner will revolt and turn their weapons against Belarus and its authorities. Anything can happen in life, but I don't see such a situation. Russian missiles have struck the western Ukrainian city of Lviv, killing at least four people. The region had been relatively calm since it's away from the main front lines. Dozens of people are said to be injured and the death toll is expected to rise. Hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians have sought safety in Lviv. Israel has launched an artillery attack at the Lebanese border. This attack on Lebanon happened near the town of Kfar Shuba in response, the Israeli military says, to earlier rocket attacks from the area. It had initially said they were carrying out a routine mine explosion. Israel and Lebanon are still technically at war, with UN peacekeepers stationed at their border. At least 17 people, including children, have been killed by a suspected toxic gas leak in South Africa. This happened at an informal settlement near Johannesburg. Emergency officials say the leak came from a cylinder of nitrate gas used by miners working illegally to process gold. Rights groups say Tunisia has moved hundreds of migrants and refugees to a camp along the Libyan border. There are reports of civilians in Sfax detaining people following the killing of a Tunisian policeman on Monday. Many of the migrants are now stranded in the desert with no food or water. More than 950 refugees and migrants have died while trying to reach Spain by sea in the first six months of this year. That's according to a Spanish migrants rights group. Despite a, decrease, a decrease in the number of boats reaching the shores, the group says that there's been an increase of 13 deaths for that same period.